Good morning. My name is Dave Tolfson. I'm the Director of Emergency Management here in Fulton County. Um, just want to take a few minutes of everybody's time to talk about some of the things we've had happening here in Fulton County with the uh, snowfall uh, the incidents we've had here in the county. First thing, let's talk about how the decisions are made at the county level on what we're going to do as far as declaring a disaster and maybe setting a travel advisory level. Um, the, the process that we have by ordinance and by Indiana code is that we work with the sheriff's department and we work with the county highway department. Uh, those three agencies communicate back and forth. Um, a, as the highway department may have problems getting roads cleared or uh, because of drifting or because of icing events, and, and the sheriff's department's having a lot of responses to motorists ge getting stranded or getting stuck or, or going in the ditch because of road conditions. Uh, the, those three agencies work together and, and try to come up with a decision or, or a recommendation that we give to the commissioners. At the point that we have a consensus between the Sheriff's Department, the County Highway, and, and the Fulton County Emergency Management Agency, uh, we then make a recommendation to the Fulton County Commissioners via the President of the Commissioners and then the commissioners uh, have some conversation on, on what their feelings are. At that point, if the commissioners follow the recommendation and decide to declare and decide to set a travel advisory, we, we write up the documentation and then we try to get it out to the media even before it goes into effect so that the people are aware that this is coming. Uh, January 5th through the 7th, we, we push that out that Sunday evening at 5 p.m. Um, that the Fulton County was going to be declared a disaster area due to a snow emergency and we set a warning level travel advisory which is a red which is the highest travel advisory we can set. Um, you know there's a lot of things that go into that uh, most of it are, are dictated by Indiana Code 1014-3-29 and 1014-3-3 29 um, so we, we do have Indiana code that we follow when we do a disaster declaration and when we set the warning level travel advisory. Um, so like I said, you know, the decision was made Sunday that we would set 5 p.m. as the start of the disaster declaration and the warning level travel advisory. Um, we, we completed the documentation which has to be signed by at least one of the three commissioners before it can go into effect. But we do push it out a little early so we can get it out to our media partners so that they can let the public know that this is coming, it's going to happen, and, and this is going to be the time that it happens. Um, there are some things that I've become aware that not everybody understands, uh, especially under the, the red, which is the warning level. Um, this is the highest level of the local travel advisory. It means that travel may be restricted to emergency management workers only. During a warning local travel advisory, individuals are directed to refrain from travel, comply with necessary emergency measures, cooperate with public officials and disaster service forces in executing emergency operations and plans, and obey and comply with lawful directions of the properly identified officers. That's, that's a very brief description. Um, in Fulton County, normally uh, people that are not under that would be your emergency response, EMS, fire and law enforcement, uh, utility workers, and um, fuel handlers. So there, there are some exemptions. A uh, few other things uh, as we're moving forward and, and ever evolving, um, our county ordinance provides that uh, cities like Rochester, which is an incorporated city, uh, can exempt themselves from those travel warnings and, and working with the mayor and, and the city and county attorney, uh, we will start moving forward um, where the city will be exempt from those travel warnings and can set their own level. So understand that uh, even though the county may be under a, a warning level, the city can set their own level at that time. Um, so make sure you understand where the city's at also. Uh, the mayor did a great job uh, talking about this during this State of the City address. Um, you know, we don't want to create confusion uh, because there's travel allowed within the si incorporated city limits of Rochester. Doesn't mean that if you live out in the county that you can drive into the city. Um, it's, 
you know, like I said, the mayor did a great job of, of trying to explain that and, and we'll continue to keep that going so that people understand that there, there is going to be a little bit of a divide there. Um, just due to the infrastructure and the capabilities of the city street department and the amount of roads that they <clears throat> that they have to clear, um, they're able to do that in, in quite an expedient fashion. Um, the other side of that is, you know, understanding why these things are put in place. Uh, the determination is usually by the amount of slide offs and the, the struggles that the county highway department is having trying to keep our roads out in the county safe for travel. Um, you know, these guys are phenomenal at what they do. Uh, they, they put in 14, 16, 18 hour days. Um, and I don't know if you've ever plowed snow, but it's, you know, it's very hard to see that the snow is coming up over the hood and over their windshield and, and you know, but they're out there and, and constantly doing their job. Um, there are some things that we do with the warning level travel advisory to try to assist them. Um, we do this because the vehicles out on the road can create an obstruction if they get stuck or stranded in a snow drift, which prevents the, the county highway uh, guys from trying to get those roads cleared and, and open back up. Uh, it, you know, and then as a plow operator, they have to make a decision. As they come up on a road with a car stranded in the road, uh, do they stop, get out of the truck, and stop their plowing operations to assist that motorist to get them out of that snow drift or out of that position they're in? Or do they call for a, a tow truck to come get them? Um, and then still, once again, not being able to continue their plow operations because they're waiting on the tow truck, or not continuing their plow operations because they're trying to remove that stranded motorist from that roadway so that they can get that snow cleared. Um, we're, we're very fortunate here in Fulton County. We've got a phenomenal group of, of individuals out at our county highway department that are very dedicated to what they do. Um, I'm sure some of our residents have been assisted by them through the years and, and especially through the month of January with the amount of snow we got. Um, but you know, their day doesn't end just because they've been out there for 14 or 16 or 18 hours. Uh, as they go home, uh, many or all of them take their, their plows with them because if we, if our emergency responders are, are called out for a fire or, or a medical run or, or law enforcement's called out, those county highway plow operators may be called out to assist uh, on making sure those roadways are clear enough for those responders to get where they go. So, uh, you know, my hope is that if you get a chance to thank one of our highway uh, folks for all the hard work they do during these snow events, please do it because they, they really are dedicated to that job and what they do. Um, getting a little more in depth to what goes on during a warning level travel advisory, uh, we're, we're obviously trying to get the roads closed down and, and keep motorists off them to make it easier and more accessible for the county highway to plow those roads and open them back up. Um, but there are some things that fall in place under Indiana code. State highways and federal highways do not fall into that travel advisory. So if the county's under a travel advisory, State Road 31, um, 110, roads like that that are state or federal roads are, are not under that travel advisory. They are exempt from that travel, travel advisory unless implemented by the state itself. Um, so just a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, presently, Fulton County is under what they call a watch level travel advisory. This is orange. Um, each one of these is color coded and, and watch means that conditions are threatening to the safety of public during a watch local travel advisory. Only essential travel, travel such as to and from work or in emergency situations is recommended. An emergency action plan should be implemented by businesses, schools, government agencies and other organizations. Uh, the reason Fulton County remains under a watch level travel advisory is during January 26th and 27th we had a pretty good snow and icing event um, and unfortunately we've, we've got roads out there that still have a pretty good ice base. Uh, temperatures were low enough that, that salt and sand that the highway was putting down was not able to completely melt away that ice. Um, 
So it still creates a little bit of a safe travel issue. We also have areas in the county with the amount of snow that we've gotten that they weren't able to remove the snow and open up both lanes of travel to their normal width. Um, so it's still unsafe in some areas just because of the amount of snow in that area and, and there's no place to move that snow to. Um, the county highway department is working very hard. They're having to go out with loaders and, and backhoes and, and actually remove that snow and truck it out of those areas. But obviously that's very time consuming and we, we as a county have opted to keep that in place just for the safety so people are aware that, that road conditions aren't perfect and you know there could be some issues as you travel in and around the county. Um, beyond that, uh, the, the last part is the yellow, which is the advisory level. This is the lowest level of local travel advisory. It means that route train travel or activities may be restricted in areas because of a hazardous situation and individuals should use caution or avoid those areas. Um, we may be looking, if we don't get any additional snowfall here in the near future, at, uh, backing the roads back down to that once we get the uh, okay from the county highway that they were able to get the roads back opened up and uh, to their complete width and, and it's safe to resume normal travel. Uh, we, you also may hear this advisory uh, yellow advisory if we have flooding events um, in certain areas of the county we may a issue a, a advisory level travel advisory just to keep people out of the flooded areas where roadways may have water overtopping the roads and things like that so I, I hope that helps to answer any of those questions um, as we as always we try to keep the public informed on anything that's going on and what we're doing uh, we use Nixle, which is a uh, mass informational portal. Uh, you can receive Nixle information from Fulton County either through uh, SMS text messaging or through email. Um, the only thing I would say is if you don't have unlimited texting, uh, I wouldn't sign up for the SMS text messaging side of it because Indiana State Police use Nixle also and they will send out statewide information. Um, even though it may not affect Fulton County directly, if you're signed up for Nixle, you may get some of that information. Um, so I just advise if you don't have unlimited, sign up for the email version of Nixle, not for the text messaging. If you do have text messaging and it's unlimited, it's pretty easy to sign up for. You send a text message to this number, it's 888-777-3837s. And the message you send to that number is 46975, the zip code for Rochester. And within about a minute, you'll receive a confirmation that you've signed up for Nixle messaging. Uh, Nixle is sent out by our uh, 911 center and through the EMA office. Um, they can be advisories, they can be alerts or community messages. Um, so we may send out information just advising people that like a community message may be, hey, Round Barn Festivals this upcoming weekend, uh, remember the downtown area will be restricted travel. Just, just to remind people that things we have going on, uh, we may send out preparedness information, things you need to have during a cold weather event or, or an extreme heat event. Um, and then obviously alerts will be if we have weather warnings, weather watches, uh, if we're doing a disaster declaration and we're setting a travel advisory level, we would also send those out. Um, we've also have Facebook pages here in the county. Uh, social media has become a great way to push out information to the public. My office has one, it's Fulton County Emergency Management Agency. Um, and we try to keep any current information on that Facebook page as far as warnings, watches, uh, travel advisories, disaster declarations, and there's a lot of information about preparedness for uh, people in their homes. Uh, so visit the page, uh, and if there's things you'd like to see, let us know. We'll, we'll try to make sure we get that information up on the page. Our 911 center has a uh, Facebook page also, also uh, Rochester Fire, the Sheriff's Department. So there's a lot of portals using social media that you can get current information on what's going on in the county and why. Um, you know, the big thing is during these events, we realize that it's inconvenienced for a lot of people and we understand that, but we are looking out for the safety of the public. Um, 
making sure that they're not out there getting stuck, getting stranded, and in a position that, that could be detrimental to their health. Um, that's, that's a high priority for the Sheriff's Department and, and for all response agencies here in Fulton County. So the big thing I'd also like to say is even though we are under a declaration or a weather tra or a travel advisory, um, try to use our local media, WRI, um, the Rochester Sentinel, uh, Channel 4 and RTC. Uh, they're great media partners. Uh, we get the information to them so they can push them out. Calling the 911 center, um, you can get the information, but understand that they're still under a, a lot of stress and a lot of pressure. The, uh, everything else is still going on that goes on every day and, and even added events due to the weather. Um, so, you know, they're, sometimes they become very overwhelmed with people just calling, trying to get information of what's going on. And I would just stress, please use our local media partners and social media to try to get that information before you call 911. Um, they're, they do a great job. Uh, they're phenomenal at what they do, but any load we can take off them during a, a, an emergency really helps. Um, you know, obviously, if it is an emergency, please call them. But if you're just looking for information, please try to use Nixle or one of our social media uh, portals or, or, like I said, our media partners here in the county. In the end, what, you know, in conclusion, what I'd really like to do is thank, thank all the citizens of Fulton County they, that really try hard to, to deal with these advisories and these watches and, and declarations when we put in place. The other thing I'd like to thank is our local businesses. Um, you know, I know they have a job to do and they respect the fact that as public safety, we have a job to do. Our, our local businesses are phenomenal. Um, they support our response agencies to, to an unbelievable extent, and, and we appreciate all that they do to support the public safety community during these events. Um, just a little trivia information, uh, just talked with the National Weather Service this morning to see where we're at for the month of January. In Rochester, Indiana, showed 36.0 inches, so we got a full three feet of snow in the month of January. Um, and that doesn't include what could happen with the drifting during the high wind events we also experience. So, in conclusion, like I said, we'd like to thank the, everybody in Fulton County and in Rochester and our towns for everything you do every day to stay safe and, and help comply with these things when they have to be put in place.